Hey Leo, I went on ahead and pulled your Oracle spread and your message is very, very clear. Loud and clear. Very clear, very clear. I used one, two, three, four, four different Oracle spreads to get this message out to make sure I was seeing what I was seeing. Um, okay, so we have a past person here pretty much, I think, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth. I'll just say it how the cards say it, okay? Whoever you were dealing with in your past, um, they are pretty much stuck on you. Um, they want the inside scoop on you. A closer look, nosy, all up in your business. This person thinks about you 24-8. Every time I um, do a reading, I feel like um, I'm getting the hiccups or there's something trying to prevent me from getting my messages out. At any rate, this person, like I said, 24-8, same-ish, different day. They do move in silence. You would not know that this person feels the way that they do. Um, they, either you or this person may be seeing a lot of synchronicities right now with that 111. Um, I feel like you're too busy winning. And they, it, that's what draws this person, you know, if you're just a bright, bubbly person who's accomplishing a lot of your goals, you know, you're just out and about socializing, this, it just makes this, it makes its desire, it makes, it makes you more desirable. Yeah. So I really think that at one time, whoever you were dealing with kind of thought it was only lust, um, but you pulled this in the reverse. So... Yeah, I think you may have put like you may have put it on this person and they think about that a lot. They think about whatever sexual experience you guys had. They think about that a good bit. Um, there's this always partying and access granted social media fake profile hiding. So someone has gained access to your social media. They've done this through a fake profile. They've seen, um, they've seen who you're socializing with. They, they're taking a good look at your pictures. They're studying the backgrounds of the pictures. Um, and then we have this fax. Someone's doing some fact checking. I don't know if you told someone that you were at work or whatever, but they are checking the facts and we have no facts, never has the facts, Make makes shit up. And screenshots, getting, getting evidence proof facts. It's facts on top of facts. Like this person's doing a lot of getting evidence on you. And then we have a hit and run. Now, I don't know if this is an accident that you guys got into or this was a one night stand you had. I'm not really sure, Leo, you tell me. But I can tell you that whatever, whoever is up to no good with you, I would not study it because you have angel protection right on top of that. Um, and then I have this fake flex and acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off, just to show off. Um, and then right on top of your angel protection embedded in between this fake flexing you have unexpected help is arriving so again i wouldn't yeah i'm getting unfazed and whatever karmic relationship that you went through it's done so this person can fact check all they want they can break into your social media account they can try to set you up this looks like someone who's trying to set you up um, I'm being told that you're protected. Angel protection. Unexpected help is arriving right off of that angel protection. And it's pretty much the message is unfazed. Please don't worry about it. If you are worried about anything, don't. Because there's a lesson learned here. Yeah, there's something's finished here. And then, okay, I didn't read this pile at all. There's a last chance. They lost their chance or you did. 
Yeah, because someone's fed up. It's over. Um, you've lost interest. You're bored. You're bored. You're bored with this person's shenanigans. Uh, your light irritates their demons. Yeah, you're bored with this person's hating. You're bored with their, their, their methods of approach. You're just bored. I think you've recognized this person's a karmic or they're using their friends somehow to gain access to your information you know social media accounts whatever whatever you're doing and whatever they're being told it just irritates them or maybe you're seeing someone's friend or you were accused of that but you have karmic right on top of karmic You um, are fed up with this. I mean, you pulled karmic right on top of karmic. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. This person, extremely toxic, unhealthy, possessive. I mean, you got it on layering. And this person, your light irritates their demons. right on the obsessive lover and the friends. I don't know if you need to clear your energy or what. Then you pulled liar. Can't fully trust them. Tension. Secret competition. Someone. You're fed up. Bad advice. Wow. Bad advice from a friend or a family. This is four different Oracle decks, by the way. Bad advice from a friend or family member. The problem with karmic friends, if they put any of their friends up to gathering info or intel on you, usually these friends have some type of attraction. So they would paint you in a bad light to detour said person from taking interest in you. Yeah. So this person... Ah, you tell me. I don't know. Um, But... This is a waste of time. Um, I think this person was lying about you. Stuck, no changes, limited. And then we have this telepathic dreams and songs and ascension. There's a spiritual awakening here. You know, I just think that you know that whatever this was is done. I mean... Someone was on their last chance because you're fed up. You're fed up with this toxic shit. You've just outgrown it. You feel like this person's a waste of time. Um, yeah, you have ascended. You, you've woken up. You're not wasting any more time. I mean, you may have nixed friends, family. You may have nixed quite a few people because you just see it for what it is. You know, I don't know if this is describing you or someone who dealt with you. You tell me. But at any rate, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to clear this up and then we'll get into your, ter your, uh, your tarot spread. Okay, Leo, are you still with me? Yeah, I feel like whatever ended for you, it was the best possible thing that could have ended. Yeah, definitely getting out of a commitment. There's a marriage that recently ended or a commitment, a stronger level of commitment where two people live together. I do see the partying, that partying was a factor, kind of blew things up. Maybe you're partying, maybe you're celebrating now that it's over. A divorce party or something. Yeah, this is definitely something, a head over heart decision. Maybe someone's partying was the reason. You just, you were just like, I can't. There's no, there's no uh, changes here. I don't know. But we'll definitely, we'll definitely see what's going on. That's just what I'm picking up out of your pre-shuffle. I will pull the strongest energy off of your spread here. Yeah, so I definitely see where someone 
They might be talking shit as you're exiting. Someone's flirty behavior was the reason why you left or they left you. But that's the strongest card that's being that's pulling off of your spread right now. And then I have this Knight of Swords. That's like overcoming a challenge. It's also very warlike. Someone's maybe really pissed off right now. But I do see people talking, and that's probably these karmics um, talking about, you know, the changes that took place. Um, and I do see a pissed off energy kind of lingering around it. And then we have the uh, a wish granted here. There is a wish granted. That's probably that divine protection that I picked up on in your oracle spread. Mm -hmm. And this is that no changes, that stuck, wasting time, no changes, yeah. Okay. What's on that Knight of Swords, please? Spirit, let me get what's on that Knight of Swords. Mm-hmm, someone's definitely single. Yeah, again, um... Single and spiritual protection. There is a lot of spiritual protection. There's a lot of responsibility, though. There's a lot of responsibility because of the singleness. Mm hmm Yeah. This is something you prayed about. Um, it looks like it's went in your favor. This is a wish granted. This is a prayer granted. There is some judgment here. There's karma here, which is a polite word for judgment. This may be um, a judgment in the court, but it's um, from a person of authority. This is something that you prayed on. The tables are turning, huh? This guy makes head over heart decisions. He just looks at the facts. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. There's just um there's proof here about something. Mm-hmm. Somebody's got the proof, and we're getting some karma off of that. Yeah. So something stuck. No movement, stagnant water. And then we have strength, right? So, you know, you may just be, there may be a situation that's not changing or a person that's not changing and they're standing their ground here is what I'm picking up off of that King of Swords and the strength. It's, you know, it's like I said, this is who I am because the King of Swords can be kind of stubborn as well. Um, Someone's definitely upset here. This is that karmic energy that we picked up on in their friends. Someone's single here, under burden. They're very burdened and pissed off. Their energy right off the top was very warlike. And it just looks like somebody was um, single, maybe having some one-night stands, and then somebody caught feelings here with the Two of Cups. And it's a burden. There's some type of burden here. And like there's interest and responsibility here. Maybe there's, um, there's a one night stand that's just become a problem. To say the least. Um, this person, pissy. Um, they're just an overall burden. You know, this was somebody that was just a one-night stand. Or someone that got treated like a one-night stand. Yeah. Yeah, there's some news coming off of this guy. He's made his decision. This could be somebody that you used to be in a relationship with. Um, running and telling stuff. Yeah, I see that here is the overall energy anyway. Yeah. I just see overall like you're just doing well. 
There's been no changes here. You're looking very strong. You're coming off as disciplined, uh, reserved, well-spoken, a hard worker. This could be something that wasn't changing in your employment as well. Um, you have really shown up every day for these people. You weren't seeing any changes. You were putting the work in. And I am seeing some type of boss here that you may be getting some type of small raise. This looks like love and work. Yeah. I feel like whoever you've been dealing with, this could have been somebody you were married to. Um, they've just make they've been making things really hard on you since since the split. They've been monitoring your behavior, and this situation is calling for you to have faith. You may have put trust in the wrong person. But we'll see. I don't know yet. We'll see. I do see where you... Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy, but you're pulling it in the reverse. And this past life relationship, again, in the reverse. You have known each other before. There's, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're pulling it in the reverse. This is that person that you just recently left. Wow. You know, they could be um, monitoring your finances here. A wedding in the reverse yeah yeah this is somebody that you trusted at one time um, that you are no longer with wedding in the reverse this situation involves marriage this is a past person they are all around you this person monitoring your finances um, looking for any changes maybe in your routine and they were putting other people up to doing this as well, fact-checking you. And with that getting to know each other, yeah, this was that fax here. Yeah, somebody you've, you've been talking to. You deserve love. I'm telling you, one of these people that this that your ex put up to monitoring you has feelings for you. You deserve love right off of the wedding in reverse. Whoever put whoever they put up to getting information, this person has feelings for you. You've trusted this person. You didn't know they were going back and telling. They were going back and telling um, your ex stuff. Now, when I say this person has feelings for you, this could be a family member, a friend of the family. You know, and then they're, you know, sometimes we're we're mad at our or at our fam, at our family members, and then they go back and they do things, and then you guys kiss and make up, and they realize that they've said too much. But you definitely trusted this person. And this karmic person definitely trusts the other person. They def Whoever this karmic person was, they were on the, the opposite spouse's side. They were put had all their trust in them. And you had put some type of information with someone who did not deserve that information. 
This person was um, telling this other person a lot about you. Who you were talking to, who you were getting to know, who you were, um, if you were dating anybody. Mm-hmm. Yep. They were telling them about your finances. If you were going to the gym, whatever you were doing, they were... They were really given a lot of information. You've really put your uh, trust in someone that you shouldn't have. And I do see where you're pissed off about it. You're you're kind of waiting on karmic um, karma to catch up with this person. Yeah. And we have soulmate here. Right on top of that ex-person. There isn't... This, there's somebody here that is just absolutely stuck on you. You've already released this person. Uh, I don't know if this is a one night stand, but this person, uh, they just feel like you're their soulmate. This is definitely an ex and this person's a problem. Sorry, I'm not trying to shuffle off camera, but when they when I shuffle, it messes up my other cards on the table. Right. I hate reading karmic energy because it's so hard. There's so many different facets to karmic energy because they move so weird. It's just hard to, yeah. This is definitely what calls the tower. Someone was very, was meddling in your affairs. They were helping someone out. If someone was cheating, they were helping said person. Um, you trusted this person that while this person was playing both sides of the field with you. Definitely getting involved in your relationship. Sticking their nose in your affairs. The truth came out about that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You, um, it looks like you're fed up. You, you severed connections here with, you, you got some truth. You're crystal clear about whomever, if someone was stepping out on you, you've, you're crystal clear about what was going on, who was for you and who was against you. There's a lot that's been revealed. Here's that stalker. Yeah, hon. Yeah. This, you've also got a stalker. And they feel like you're, you've released this person without the shadow of a doubt. And your mind hasn't changed about them. There's been no change of how you feel about this person. And I feel like you, you feel this person is a waste of time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but this stalker, <laughs> it just make you light this person up. Whoever this stalker is, I mean, they just think that you are the greatest thing since sliced bread. Yeah, thank you, spirit. Yeah, I just think that this is someone completely different. I see where there's a marriage that ended and then it looks like a completely different ex is on the board. If it wasn't a marriage, it was some type of strong commitment. Um, a serious relationship ended that you put your trust in. I'm telling you this person, there was a lot of karmic crap going on in there with friends, friends of the family. There was a lot of bullshit mixed up in that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this person was using many creative ways to get information. Um, they may they may have also had a hand in why your relationship failed. There were so many challenges. There was a lot of challenges in that relationship. Ultimately, it ended up in someone getting blocked. lot of obstacles and I think this person was blocked and they sent in another person to get information on you they got really creative about how to get over this 
blocked. This, if you block this person, they got real creative about how to jump that fence. Ooh, okay. All right. Oh, I see. You may have met someone new. Yeah. Because I'm seeing a wish granted. Mm-hmm. Head over heart decision here. News about that. All right. Are you seeing someone new? If you're, if not, you may be soon. Um, I feel like this person is a breath of fresh air. They look good. They smell good. They're busy. This person doesn't play games with you. Um, they are who they say they are. Um, and you're pulling Ace of Cups. I think you find this person extremely attractive. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is something that you were asked for. Yeah, you're crystal clear about how you feel about this person. This person really turns you on. They're busy, but they're busy in the right ways. Um, this person probably has children. They do, they do what they say and say what they mean. Um, this person feels like a, a breath of fresh air. Wow, absolutely. You're pulling on the Empress here. Okay. You have... This looks like an ex-wife that's stalking you. This is an ex-wife, someone's mother, someone's baby mother stalking you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, they can stalk, but what they're seeing is that you're very happy in that um, you've, you've met someone. If you haven't met this person yet, you will. With that Empress, this person's your person. This is a wish granted. Uh, you might end up marrying this person so they can run tell that but yeah how much time we got I like it I like it I like it a lot looks like you just went through um, I'm surprised the six of wands didn't show but it looks like you just went through something a battle person was definitely a pain these people was definitely a pain in your ass This person over here got real creative with you on how to jump this fence, this block. They may have given you something. This might have been a neighbor. I don't know who it was, but it was or something that happened around the holidays. Yeah. Yeah, message. They're giving this person, this ex-wife, this ex-spouse of yours, they're giving this person information. Yeah, um, you've outgrown it. You've outgrown these tactics. You are very aware. You know sugar from salt here. You're just too mature. You've matured. Yeah, absolutely. I told you there's a new courtship here. Yeah, you're definitely, if you're not happy now, you will be soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something's opened up to you. There's been a road that's opened up here. Something that was previously blocked from you. It looks like you've severed some connections. And that's opened up 
the pathway for a brand new, yeah, with the mature my look. I can't make it up. The Empress of Message, the mature woman. Um, yeah, someone's giving this woman a lot of messages. It was whoever you were dealing with here. This person looks older. You got the mature man and the mature woman here. This could be an in-law that you were talking to. Like parents. You might not have um, mixed them from your social media accounts. They're giving whomever here information. Courthouse. That's the ending that um, that relationship that I saw that ended. Somebody was definitely trying to make it hard on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was something going on here with your work. Um. Yeah, someone was doing their damnedest to prove that you make more than what you say you make. They wanted to see you in despair. Absolutely. This just sounds like, um, yeah, yeah. This woman was expecting it. She sat there in wait. She laid in wait expecting it. She wanted you... She was trying to dig in them pockets. Absolutely. 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 This just sounds like um child support case, alimony case, something like that. This person was trying to prove that, you know, they're, they were definitely fact-checking you to make sure that there's been no change in your employment, that kind of bullshit. That's exactly what this is. I wouldn't pay it any mind. It looks like you're divinely protected. I've got that. And it looks like there's some karma here, too. Absolutely, there's some karma here. Mm -hmm. This person real interested in who you're fucking. Straight up. The, these karmics, they were so interested in who you were fucking. Without the shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this person waiting on you to slip up with that fool just waiting on you to slip up they want to know every little single detail about what you're doing they were trying to paint you like a fool as well yeah yeah she was waiting on all your shit to come out that she was waiting on all your lies she just lay 